Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome inside the iconic Palms Hotel and Casino here in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. It's freezing cold outside. Just kidding. You can cook an egg on your car. This is Boxing, presented by Hall of Fame Boxing Promoter. This is Boxing, this is Top Rank, presented by Hall of Fame Boxing Promoter, Mr. Bob Ehrman, brought to you all week long by AutoZone, Get in the Zone, and by Bud Light, the official beer of celebrations. It all goes down Friday right here at the Palms, 4.30 Pacific time on ESPN+. Plus. All fights exclusive to ESPN+. Plus. Once, th- once you're there, you don't need to go anywhere else. We have an incredible stacked card. In the lightweight division, Charlie Sheehy taking on Kalen Alfred. In the light heavyweight division, uh, Dante Benjamin Jr., William Langston. Junior featherweight, Subaru Murata, Murata versus Juan Santano. Junior welterweights, Rohan Polanco, Cesar Francis, Jalen Phillips versus Emin Driver. In the lightweight division, Carlos Balderas, Nahir Albright. Joining me on stage, we have Abraham El Supernova. He is taking on Jonathan Romero. Also on stage with me today for the USWBC Silver Junior Lightweight title, Andres Savage Cortez taking on Xavier Martinez. And our main event, the two women sitting on either side of me, it is the unified minimum weight championship of the world. The champ, Sinisa Superbad Estrada, taking on Leonela Yudica Andino. Everybody on stage, thank you for taking time. Uh, it is a packed, packed card, stacked card. You do not want to miss it. Friday night coming out of the Palms Hotel, such a legendary place. top rank ESPN, thrilled to be here. All right, let's get into it. Abraham, I want to start with you. Uh, it is great to have you here. The smile is always contagious. Your last fight, Verona, New York, was against a tough opponent in Adam Lopez. It, it went the distance. The fight was great. You came away with the unanimous decision. What did you take away from that bout? Well, there's a lot of things I took away from that bout. You know, um, um, coming from the loss for for Basie, you know, there was a lot of talks if I could take a punch, if my mental was there. So, you know, it proved to me that, you know, I'm mentally strong. I I do have a chin. Yes, things happened, you know. So um, coming up up with that win, you know, gave me the confidence that I need and to come back and, um, you know, keep pursuing my career and, and, and keep chasing to become a world champion. You're literally reading words off of my card because I wanted to bring up, you know, the, the tough loss to Robesi. Obviously, he's our champ. Uh, how important it was for you to get the confidence back in that last bout. You had a, a successful return. So what did that do uh, for your mindset going into a camp? Because that's, that was new to you, coming off of, of a defeat and going into camp. So what was that like? You know, it's um. I have a slogan saying, "No fear, no doubt." You know, you have to um have no fear, and you have to keep moving forward. Um, you know, Robe, like I said, Robesi was a tough was a tough fighter. You know, things happened. A lot of things didn't go my way that night. But um, you got to be mentally strong in this game. We need confidence. Us as fighters, you know, um, we 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 in the, we in the ring, and day in day out, and um, we just we just need something to um. To, uh, to to give us that energy and that motivation to keep move, to keep moving forward and confidence is the biggest thing that 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 will help us as fighters you know keep continuing and and doing what we got to do and that's what I needed. Romero's a tough opponent. You got another tough fight, so you're not shying away from from competitive tough fights. What can we expect to see Saturday night that maybe we haven't seen yet in your career? You know, you guys gonna see. Like you guys always see fireworks, you know. I come and I come strong. I come, you know. I I dictate the body. I I I come looking, you know, to get the knockout and also to get the win. Um, like I said, Jonathan Romero, he's a tough, he's a tough opponent. He's a former world champion. That's something that 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 you can't, you know, you can't hide and you can't talk about. I'm excited. Um, I'm excited what, what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do Friday night and how I'm gonna shine. Listen, the 130 division, right? Who are you looking at next? There's two gentlemen sitting on this stage right here. Possibly the winner of this bout. Absolutely. If I could get the win of, of, of any, any of these cats or just the, even the title shot with Manu Navarrete or, or Oscar Valdez and anybody, anybody. But I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm long overdue for a world title shot. You know, I've been in this game for a long time. I, I, I've never said no to no opponent. Um, you know, um, Brad Goodman, Bruce, Bruce Schamper, they know, you know, I never say no. So if, if they're in a way for me getting to the title shot, then yeah. But if I could go straight to it and fight Emmanuel Navarrete or um, Oscar Valdez, um, I'll do that as well. 
Brother, thank you for being here. Excited to see you Saturday night. We'll see you tomorrow on the scales. Keep that microphone in your hand because we may come back to you. Let's let's tune to these these two guys sitting here. That is part of our co-feature, the USWBC Silver Junior Lightweight title on the line. Andreas Savage Cortez taking on Xavier Martinez. Gentlemen, thank you for being here. Obviously, there's another gentleman sitting sitting over there in the same division. It's a stacked division. There's a ton of fights to be made at this uh, at this division. How excited are you guys to be here and put on a show Saturday night? Uh, I'm very excited, and I think I'll be both of these guys in the same night. Um, you know, I, I don't think we've ever this, seen this, three this guys in a ring at the same time, but we, you know, it is the palms and crazier things have yeah, happened here. We might make that work. I'm going to knock out two guys in one week. Who have you knocked out? Okay, you then. Just got knocked out. Well, who have you knocked out? You just got knocked. Who have you knocked out? Okay then, keep it. I'll going. tell you what, I knocked out your all opponent. Right, all right, all right. Who I knocked, knocked out, out your opponent. Who's my opponent? I knocked out your opponent. Who's my opponent? fighting this weekend. All right, and watch, and watch what I do to him. All right. All right. And we'll, we'll you might not even have to show up, bro. It looks like they find shit. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not worried about Look, him. He, I, he, he, I started he's dressed something. in here. He's looking like a homeless man. <laughs> I, I ain't worried about him. This is easy work. I look good, I feel good, and I just can't wait to smack this guy. And, and now I can't wait to smack this guy, too. Yeah, okay, yeah. What can we expect from you Saturday exactly night? What you do is smack. I'm going to do my job Friday. I ain't here to do all this rah, rah, rah shit. You know, I'm going to let him do his thing. And Friday night, he's going to see for sure. Xavier, it's been 11 months since you've been in the ring. Uh, how excited slash ready are you to get back at it? I'm really excited. Um, you know, my last fight... Um, you know, things happen. You know, life happens. It is what it is. But um, I'm bouncing back. Um, I had a great camp for this one. And um, like I said, I'm excited to go out there and do what I do, you know, Friday. I'm ready to get back where I need to be. And, you know, after this, you know, I would love a world title shot. Andres, how excited are you to be back in Vegas? Your last time in the ring was February. You went the distance with Melendez. That was a great fight. This is Vegas. I mean, I, I run Vegas. And this is my city. And uh, I think his biggest mistake was leaving Roy Woods. Um, he's going to say this is his greatest camp, but I haven't seen him. I mean, I look at him, he's hunched back, and he's, he looks scared. He's afraid. And I just can't wait to, to put on a good ass whooping. Who have you fought? Exactly. Who, who, you who fought? have you fought? What do you mean? He has. I'm talking, I, I, said, okay, okay. I fought. He has. I, fought I fought former world champions. Hey, he has. Hey, when, I, when, I, when I knock out two, both these bums, what are they going to say? What are you just talking right now? All right, and I'm fighting. Just fighting. Shut up. <laughs> Come on, bro. Just Xavier, shut up. this is not what you want. Bro. Just shut up. This is not what you just want. Shut up. This is not what you Listen, want. Listen, handle, 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 handle your man. Handle your man. Just shut up. I'm going to have to get with Evan Korn after this press conference. We're never going to have a single fighter on the end ever again. I love this. Actually, we're going to keep it from now on. Uh, Xavier, your second fight working with Robert Garcia. How's that going? It's going great. Um, this camp, I think. Um, went a lot better than the, the previous one you know, for that one. Um, I had more time with him because, you know, he was uh, focused with uh, Joshua around the time that I had my first fight with them. So um, this time, you know, we were able to actually work more and get things uh, centered down. And, you know, I'm excited. I'm really, really excited. Before we get to our main event, uh, Andres, does, does Martinez present any challenges that uh, you have to, you've had to work on or study tape to get ready for Saturday night, or is it just business as usual? Uh, I think it's just uh, the preparation is just me and me being uh, my best. And I do want a face off of both these fighters after this day. <laughs> Xavier, same question for you. You know, you, you know what you're walking into Saturday night. Did you have to make any adjustments in camp that you can talk about now? Or is it just, again, business as usual? I mean, it's business as usual. You know, every fighter comes in here with the mindset to win. And, you know, not every fight ain't going to be easy. So, obviously, I'm not going to be like it's going to be an easy fight. But, you know, I know I'm well prepared. I'm not ready for this. And, you know, I'm going to win Friday. I just, I just hope he comes in on weight. Last fight, he came over 11 pounds, so let, let's make sure you in weight. Well, I mean, get your facts straight, bro, because it wasn't even like that. But, you know, whatever yeah. whatever, whatever makes you happy, reason. whatever you want to believe, that's, you know, whatever you helps you. Reason. Whatever helps you feel you confident, bro. Reason. Look me in my eyes. Come on. Whatever helps scared. you feel confident. Don't be scared. I ain't scared of you, bro. You, yeah, your yeah. head is shaped like a goldfish, so just, oh. just, just shut up. Uh, okay. Nova, you got anything to chime in on here? Because this seems to be a 1.30 party up here on this stage right now. Man, talk is cheap, man. Like I said, talk is cheap. He want to be the showcase and do this extra blah, blah, blah stuff. He could do that. But at the end of the day, we fight with our hands. We don't fight with our mouths. We're going to leave it at that, and we're going to move over to the main event. 
if there was ever fireworks to be discussed, it is in our main event. It is the unified minimum weight championship of the world. The WBC WAB, WBA champion beside me, Sinisa Superbad Estrada, and Leonela Yurika Andino. Thank you so much for being here. Listen, Friday night at the Palms, ESPN Plus. If you live in Vegas, you want to be here. Wherever you are, you want to be tuning in. Champ, I'm going to start with you because this is, uh, this is history in the making again here at the Palms. 12 years as a professional. You are the reigning WBA, WBC minim minimum weight champion of the world, headlining at the iconic Palms Hotel. So many stories and events have taken place here. And here we are. It is your night. Does this, does this ever get old for you? <laughs> I mean, this is just the beginning. And we're at a time in women's boxing where all the top women are starting to headline. Mm -hmm. So I'm just grateful and happy to top rank in ESPN for allowing me to be one of the female fighters that's leading the way for the next generation and for all the women in the sport. And not only for women, but for men as well. Like I've had such a long journey. So I just want to inspire everybody, inspire men too, the, the men that are up here. If, if I can do it as a female, you guys can too. They don't need any inspiration at all, these three. We're, we're, <laughs> we're going to move on from the 130 division, and we're going to focus on you for a second. Uh, we were talking before we came on air. Your first fight when you signed with Top Rank was right here at the Palms. And I, I, as soon as I sat down, I looked up. I was like, oh, we've been here before. How special is it for you to be here in Vegas at the Palms again? Very special, especially it being such a huge weekend in boxing. Um, I'm just I'm just so excited to just put on a great performance and, and this not only be my only headlining, but the start of many more. Yeah, it goes without saying, this is a, a certainly a boxing week in Las Vegas. We all know it's going down Saturday night, but this has the potential uh, with these guys uh, co-headlining and you on Friday night to set up a, a weekend that the sport will never forget. I want to bring in your opponent, Leonela Yudica Andino. We have a translator for you off stage. First of all, welcome to Las Vegas. Uh, did you ever think that you would see a title shot again so soon, let alone a unification opportunity? Te dan la bienvenida a Las Vegas y te preguntan si alguna vez imaginaste que ibas a tener la oportunidad de unificar en esta en, en una velada como esta dos títulos mundiales. Muchas gracias, buen día. Eh, la verdad que estoy muy contenta de poder tener esta oportunidad. Agradezco en primer lugar a Top Rank por darme esta chance de poder eh, combatir con una gran campeona por estos dos títulos mundiales. La verdad que para mí es un gran placer como argentina, como sanjuanina, por presentarme por primera, me, eh, primera vez en Las Vegas. Que toda la gente, que todo el mundo me conozca. Eh, es una gran oportunidad y estoy preparada para esto. I'm grateful to be here. Thank you, Top Rank. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to fight uh, for two titles <clears throat> with someone like Ceniza here in Vegas. I'm happy, I'm honored to be here and to show everybody um, that I'm coming from Argentina um, and I'm very excited. Listen, we've all seen your fights. You are an incredibly tough, tough fighter. Do you think that you're being overlooked in this one and are you ready to shock the world Friday night? Vimos tus peleas y vemos que sos una muy buena boxeadora y crees que te sobreestimaron para esta pelea y que vas a demostrar otra cosa el, el viernes a la noche. Sí, estoy segura de que, eh, como, como acaba de preguntar, me sobreestimaron. Eh, tengo muchas peleas, mucha experiencia. He defendido en 10 oportunidades mi título mundial de la FIP cuando lo tuve, categoría mosca. Y si bien este es un gran desafío al, al bajar de categoría, eh, estoy lista y estoy preparada para demostrar que tengo todo lo necesario para convertirme en campeona mundial. Um, I will definitely um, sh shock the world Friday night. Um, this is my first time for um, on 105. Um, we've done a great job and I have all the necessary to become a world champion again. Sinisa, I want to come back to you, and I know the question gets, gets asked a lot to a lot of fighters as you walk into fight week, is this the toughest fight of your career to date, you know, that kind of thing. But do you have a statement that you want to make Friday night in that ring? Uh, definitely. I go into every fight wanting to make a statement and wanting to show just a different part of everything I can do in the ring. And I never overlook any opponent. I know that she's faced tough champions before and she's not afraid to take a risk to fight champions but 
my style is unlike any other champion she's faced. And I mean, everyone thinks they're going to shock the world when they get in there with me until that bell rings and they, they see that my style is just different. I'm a different fighter than anybody else. A hundred percent. Your style is your style. I, you know, that goes without saying. Before we came on the air, we were talking about camp and, and the gym in Los Angeles. I was reading up on the fact that you have this incredible gym that keeps you away from the distractions that Los Angeles presents. What does that do for your mindset? How does it help you day in and day out as super bad? You know, keeping, keeping the task at hand, the focus, the, the, the journey sort of right there in front of you. Yeah, it helps me so much just having a private gym where I train just myself and my trainer, and I, I just have two teammates that I train with, and it's it's great to have that peace of mind. And walking into every gym in LA, it's just so crowded and so busy now. You can't even you can't even um, hop on a bag without other people being on it and punching at the same time. So it's really cool to just be able to be by myself and train. That's what I like. I like just having my small team and I working hard every day, and it's great. Yeah, that's definitely a perk, because I know these guys, if they found out where you were training, they'd probably show up to the gym. <laughs> uh, Leonella, you are a former flyweight world champion, so you've had a taste of what it means. You've defended that title nine times. Does that give you an advantage to understand the pressure that Sinisa is facing having to defend as a champion? So, ex campeona mundial y defendiste el título nueve veces. ¿Te da eso la, la, la posibilidad de entender lo que le está pasando a Ceniza ahora como campeona mundial por, por defender sus títulos? ¿Entendés lo que le está pasando a ella? Eh, ¿A eso? Sí. Eh, si, si eso te da la, la... Si haber sido campeona mundial en tu peso te da la ventaja de entender lo que, lo que le pasa ahora a ella. La importancia de defender títulos. Digo, la presión. O la presión. Eh, sí, 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 entiendo eh, como ex campeona mundial de categoría mosca, entiendo lo que significa eh, cada una de las veces, en mi caso cuando tuve que, que defenderlo, cada una de mis oponentes, obviamente eh, de alguna manera eso genera presión, me imagino que es lo que siente Ceniesa y mmm, tiene toda la razón en sentirlo, estoy muy preparada, entrené a conciencia muchísimo con mi equipo, con Carolina, eh, con el profe Gustavo Milla, con mi tío Daniel Alcaraz, Rubén Ojeda. Eh, ellos son parte de mi equipo y son los que me han estado preparando para, para esta oportunidad, para esta chance. Eh, así que sí, entiendo, creo que, bueno, esa era la pregunta, ¿no? Entiendo lo que debe estar eh, sintiendo Ceniesa y me parece que está bien que lo sienta, porque vine por todo. It's all you. Ok, I, I just remember I came for everything. <laughs> No, um, of course I understand um, uh, what it feels to be a champion and um, to have the pressure to um, defend the titles. And I felt that way before. Um, and she has to feel she's right about feeling the pressure because I, I came for everything. I'm here for everything. Um, we've done a great camp with my team. And I'm here to win. So I'm really excited. Sinisa, to you on that point, do you carry pressure? When I look at the picture behind us, you know, you're carrying those two straps. Does that bring pressure with it? Um, definitely. It's not something that I think about every every day in the gym because I'll drive myself crazy if I do. But for sure, having a, a, having an undefeated record, being 24-0, being unified champion, um, that definitely adds pressure. And plus, I'm the fighter that every other champion wants to come here and face because of the opportunity, because of the platform, because of the money. Um, and I'm grateful that I'm able to, to be that fighter that other women want to come here and, and accept the challenge from. So, uh, yeah, there's definitely pressure, but um, I, I'm such a perfectionist. I want to perform at my best every single fight and every day in the gym. I want to make sure that I'm at my best and I give um, an even better performance than the last time. Last question for Leonella. This is your second fight in the United States. Uh, do you enjoy this opportunity? Are the distractions sort of giving you some, are they distractions? Does Las Vegas present any challenges that fighting overseas or back home uh, does not? Es tu segunda vez en Estados Unidos peleando. ¿Sentís que estar afuera o estar precisamente en Las Vegas te, te, te trae alguna distracción por todo lo que hay para ver y lo que hay para hacer? ¿Te distrae de alguna manera que pelear, digamos, a comparación de pelear en, en, en Buenos Aires o en Argentina? No, 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 eh, para nada. 
creo que si bien es, es muy lindo todo lo que, lo que he visto hasta el momento de Las Vegas, eh, que me ha encantado mucho, estoy muy concentrada eh, en lo que tengo que hacer, en lo mío, y nada, lo disfruto, obviamente disfruto de Las Vegas, pero estoy concentrada en esta pelea, nada más. I'm enjoying being in Las Vegas. I, I love what I see, but I'm really focused on the fight, so nothing can, um, you know, take me out of the goal. Perfect. Sinise, the same question to you. Does, does Vegas, you know, obviously it's a three and a half hour drive from LA, but does Vegas present any challenges or distractions to you? Or is this is when, when you're flying in or driving in for that matter, is it business as usual? Do you get motivated and pumped up to be here? Oh yeah, it just makes me excited. Definitely uh, no added pressure. Um, but it's it's always such a great atmosphere. Vegas is just a great atmosphere um, for boxing. So fight night is going to be an exciting night for sure. One last question, and then we'll wrap it up. We'll take some pictures for everybody. I, this has got to be pretty special for you, but also for your family and for your camp to have these opportunities where this is this is your weekend. You know, you're all over the place. I'm driving around town. I live here, and there's billboards all over the place with your beautiful smile on it. And Friday night, you get to walk into the ring and headline top rank on ESPN. Are there ever moments where you actually just take a step back and go, whoa, I'm actually living in this moment in real time, and this is actually happening? Yeah, it's very difficult for me to, to, to actually take a step back and think about it. But when I do, it's a dream come true. When I was seven years old, Right before I started boxing, I said to myself, I'm going to be signed with one of the biggest promoters in boxing one day. I'm going to fight on TV. I'm going to headline, and I'm going to be a world champion. And that was at seven years old when nobody believed in women's boxing at all or in women's sports in general. So I'm here now, and I'm achieving everything I said I was going to do at the age of seven. So. And what does that mean to your camp and to, to everybody in your circle? Oh, man, it means everything. I know my trainer, Dean Campos, has, has been with me um, for for over 10 years now and and this was when in the when I first turned pro and there wasn't many uh wasn't many opportunities in women's boxing it's it's been about 15 years of struggle and my father of course has been there with me from the start so for us to finally be here where we always knew I would be is just a, it's just a great thing now we're just taking advantage and and having fun with it Amazing. Thank you, guys. Thank you all for your time this afternoon. We're going to be right back here tomorrow for weigh-ins as we get everybody on the scale. Again, you do not want to miss what's going down this weekend at the Palms. Andres, Savage, Cortez, Xavier Martinez, uh, Supernova, thank you guys for being here. And in our main event, the Unified Minimum Weight Championship of the World, Sinisa, Superbad Estrada, Leonela, Utica, and Dino. As always, this is boxing. This is top rank. We'll see you tomorrow as we get them on the scale. Have a great afternoon, everybody. Yeah. Uh, pick a side, pick a side. Will you live? Will you die? Will you quit? Will you try? Sweating eyes, sweating eyes. Who am I? Who am I? Champion till I die. Every morning, every night. Why? Now you can hear the crowd going wow. Yeah. You know who's up in the house tonight. The champions are back in your town. Feel the stands and make them shout tonight. The champions are about to get down. You know who's up in the house tonight. The champions are back in your town. Feel the stands and make them shout tonight. The champions are about to get down. Pick a side, pick a side. Only two options, be with the winners or the other guys. Yeah, ain't no time, ain't no time. We already on the way. Better get themselves in line. Thought I told you we don't play. The team going nuts, the score going up. Morale going down, the fans packing up. Now all the kids got a new hero. They ain't never seen so many zeros. And that's when the crowd starts to shout. Yeah.
across the globe, no matter the weather, rain, sunny or snow. I guess all the sacrifice was worth it. The pain made perfect and gave me a purpose, yeah.